Hi, this is Beth Beard from MyLittleCraftBlog.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this little panda bear. Um, if you've been following my blog, all week I've been featuring little uh, critter bags. So instead of doing a bag, today I'm doing a card. So the first thing I have is a circle that I've cut in Whisper White using my Circle Scissors Plus and it measures three and three quarter inches. I didn't have a punch this large. And in order to make his eyes, we'll use our extra large oval punch. So we'll punch out two of those. And that's the black area right in here. And to do the inside white, I'm using a 3 quarter inch by 5 16 inch oval punch. two of those, a half inch punch in basic black, we'll need two of those, and then a one eighth inch punch and two of those. Now to assemble them you could use, I'm just going to use snail, but you could use a two way glue pen, you could use Tombow glue, you can use whatever you have on hand. So this oval we'll just put in the center of the black. And then I always kind of make their eyes off center like they're looking away. I think it gives them just a little bit more character than if they were just staring directly at you. Okay, so we'll put his eyes on. Okay, now for his ears, we're going to use our one inch circle punch and punch out two of those. I'm going to flip his face over and put a little snail on the back. And then just kind of line those up where you think it would be cute, where you think his ears would be. Okay, now in order to make his eyebrows, what I'm using here is the large oval punch. And what I did now that I have it punched out, I reinserted it in the side of my punch and punched out a small section of it, which left me this curve shape. Then I'm going to put it in a second time and punch it again. And that will give me one eyebrow and then punch it one more time for the second eyebrow. like that. Then we can attach it with a little bit of snail. Okay, now for his nose. I used the one and three quarter inch circle punch and another piece of Whisper White. We'll attach it. And here I overlap the black just a little bit. And then for his nose, I use the three quarter inch circle punch. 
in black and we're going to pop this one up with the dimensional. Before we do that, let's draw his mouth on. So the easy way to draw the mouth on is to turn it upside down. And what I did for this one to get his mouth right, um, I always trace them on because I can't draw them on very straight, free-handed. So I'm using a bottle of Stampin' Mist, and I'm using that as my guide. And then I've got my black uh, Stampin' Write marker, and I'm using the brush, the thicker tip of it. So what I do is just lay this on there. And figure out where I want his mouth to be. And then, and then I just trace it on. I'll turn it around. Give him a couple little smiles. I've got a dimensional on the back of his nose. So we'll put that on there. And then to make his nose sparkle a little bit, I'm using um, the white Uniball pen. And if you've never tried these pens, I love these gel pens. This is probably the best gel pen I've ever had. After I ordered this from Stampin' Up, I took all the rest of my white gel pens and threw them in the trash. None of them work as nice as this one does. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Then on the side of his nose, I just make a little mark there. And that's it. Then we're ready to attach him to our card. Now the card base, I just use a regular standard size card. It measures four and a quarter um, by 11 inches. I scored it at five and a half. The designer series paper I'm using, it's um, the Patterns Pack series. So now we'll attach our face to the front of our card. See, I put his face a little off center, so we'll kind of tilt his head a little bit too. And the last thing, I tied a bow out of quarter inch uh, real red grow grain ribbon, and we'll just attach it with the glue dot. And there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.